Liam Neeson stars in a film where, in effort to get revenge on someone close to him, he goes on a killing spree. Okay. <coughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Luke's Reviews. And on today's video, I will be reviewing Liam Neeson's newest action film, Taken 7, Snow Patrol. Wait, no. Uh, no. Cold Pursuit. Easily mistaken. So this is a remake of a Scandinavian film that came out a few years ago starring Stellan Skarsgård. It's directed by the same guy that did that. It stars Liam Neeson as Nels Coxman, who is a snowplow driver and a townsperson of the year. And unfortunately, his son is killed through suspicious circumstances. He goes on an all-out revenge mission to find the people that killed him, as well as uncovering this massive drug empire at the same time. It also stars Tom Bateman as one of like the main drug dealers, and Laura Dern appears as his wife. Blink and you'll miss her. No, seriously, you might miss her. So, narratively, Cold Pursuit is fairly similar to a lot of Liam Neeson films. It's your typical revenge thriller, someone crosses Liam Neeson, you shouldn't have crossed him because he has a particular set of skills, one of which is just driving a snowplow. You know roughly how it's going to go. He's going to sort of go to different groups of people, interrogate them violently, and kill them violently. There's this sinister group that is out to get him, as well as him sort of plowing through them. Puns kind of intended. But to give the film some credit, whilst it is narratively kind of beat for beat similar to films he's done in the past, stylistically and tonally, it's very different. It's, it's definitely taking a more bleak, dark humour edge. Every time someone dies, a little graphic comes up of their name and their religious affiliation um, to symbolise their passing, which it started off as kind of a weird gimmick and then you just accept it as part of the film. There's certainly a lot of inspiration, especially from the Coen brothers in their regards to sort of gallows level humour within sort of a, a, a fairly bleak setting. But my only issue here is that they're trying to emulate a lot of these films like Fargo and, and Reservoir Dogs in a way, I guess. But the execution isn't there. It's trying to emulate something that is leaps and bounds ahead of it. In the end, you're just left wanting to watch those films instead of this one. And for me, it lacked an interesting hook. Neeson's character, yes, he is Liam Neeson, but predominantly he plays second fiddle to these two warring crime sort of gangs. And calling this an action is a pretty loose definition. There aren't that many action scenes. If you are expecting Liam Neeson to be kicking ass all day long, it's not really there all the time for most of the second act. Like I said, he's hardly in it. It's then focuses on Viking, which is Tom Bateman, and White Bull, a Native American sort of crime gang. And it just, it felt lesser. I mean, Liam Neeson at this point, it, he's just Liam Neeson. Like, you, you see him and he kind of plays the same role. And he plays it well, but there's never much variation. And... I think here is, is going to be one of his more forgettable roles. Tom Bateman, on the other hand, he's at least doing something interesting with his role. Sometimes it works, sometimes it comes across a bit like a Jack Nicholson cartoon impression, where he's all like this, you see, and you need to eat your vegetables, and you need to have a, a healthy diet. It's, it's a little weird, and it gets a little campy at times, um, but then other times it kind of works, because the film is a, quite a ridiculous tone to begin with, so it's it's... I, it just sums up the, this movie. It's very inconsistent. At times, you kind of like the angle that it's taking, and then it takes such a dramatic dip that you completely fall off with it. Cold Pursuit may have tried something different, and props to it, but like I, like I say constantly, sometimes being different doesn't automatically make a film good. It's trying to emulate better movies and better filmmakers and I'd just rather sit and watch those. So I'm going to give Cold Pursuit a 4.5 out of 10. That might seem pretty low, but again, I'm not going to remember about this film in like the next week or so. So there we have it. Those are my thoughts on Cold Pursuit. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the film, if you've seen it already, as well as I want you to pitch the next Liam Neeson action movie. So basically, Taken, but where? If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and blog are in the description below. Many thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you.
in the next video.